All right, I thought we, uh, you know, we got off to a fast start offensively in the uh, first quarter. We hit a bunch of threes early. Uh, Tay was uh, hot early. You know, she had three or four in the first half and I think maybe three in the first quarter, which really helped us uh, get a little bit of a cushion. Uh, and I give NJIT credit. They, they played well today and there were stretches where they outplayed us and uh, showed us some things that we've got to get cleaned up before we go play the next game. Carl, not only did you set the single season record tonight, uh, the total was second all time in NCAA history. There's all kinds of heady stuff kind of going on with this team and three point makes. Okay. Did you expect this going into the season? And just what are your thoughts on that with this team and the three point makes? Well, I mean, we always uh, shoot a lot of threes, and, uh, you know, I thought this team had some really good shooters, and then. Uh, a lot of players improved their three-point shooting. You know, Naz is a much better three-point shooter than a year ago. China's much and E are much better three-point shooters than a year ago. And uh, you know, Ty can shoot the three uh, and knock down shots. So, which she really didn't do much last year. And in practice, she shoots a really good percentage. So, you know, we feel comfortable with her uh, knocking down shots. So, and then. You look, you, even when we go to the, we go to the bench, you know, Jess brought, has our highest percentage uh, this year. So we spend a lot of time working on shooting. So we know that a uh, big part of our offense is being able to spread the floor and make them have to cover the whole width of the floor. And you can only do that if the people on the floor can shoot it. And, you know, we definitely have some good ones. China in the 1,000-point uh, club now? China's in thousand point club. Yeah, I had no idea. Yeah, I had no idea. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah. What do you think? Well, that's great for her, I guess. <laughs> I, I'll be honest. I on the bench, I I was like, China doesn't have a thousand points. She's not even close to a thousand points. That's what I was thinking on the bench, and then. Uh, Lyle's correcting me. He's like, you know, she played somewhere else before here, and they're counting that. And I'm like, oh, now that makes perfect sense. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I, was, I was wondering why we were announcing that. And I was like, I'm trying. Like, it was even throwing me off because I'm doing the math in my head. I'm like, well, we, she's averaged about 10, 11 points a game. We played 30 games last year. There's no way. But uh, obviously, it was a, a great career milestone for China. Uh, I'm sure she's excited about it and uh, shows what a great player that she's been throughout her career. I'm, I'm guessing uh, you probably weren't enamored with the defense in the second half. That would be, uh, yeah, yeah. No, I, you know, definitely they hit some tough shots. They knocked down a couple uh, threes on us, especially late in the third quarter, uh, you know, where we lost their shooter, and then she just hit a real deep one at the end of the quarter. But, uh, you know, there was – there was just offensively, we were standing around and watching people go one on one and just expecting them to go one on one, which is not our game. And defensively, you know, I thought we had uh, too many times where we allowed penetration, allowed them to get into the paint. So, you know, as I said, NJIT, I thought they uh, played well, uh, especially after the first quarter. They played really well. And. You know, that's good for us because it, it's going to force us to look at some things that we have to get better at. China, you were really shaking your head when you when I talked about the defense not being up to snuff in the second half. Your, your thoughts on that? Yeah, I think our defense could have been way better than what it was. Like in the first quarter, like in the first quarter, I guess the first four minutes, it was good. We was getting hands on balls and everything. And then we started getting lazy and not doing the things that we were supposed to do, like being in the right spots and helping each other out and letting people just drive right by us. And that's not our defense. And that's some things that we need to tighten up in practice. Taylor, you were, uh, you were. Fantastic tonight, especially early. Basket seemed really big to you. You just getting open looks. Uh, you know how did it feel tonight? I mean, I felt good. It's just my teammates were getting me the ball when I was open, and I just shot my normal shot. <laughs> were you feeling really extra confident, or the way you always feel tonight, pretty much? Pretty much the way I always feel. <laughs> gotcha. Taylor, say for the first quarter, how would you assess? The, the team's play, you know, second, third, and fourth quarter, if you had to grade it A um, through F? Maybe a C. I think uh, we. C minus. C minus. <laughs> <laughs> I think we could have um, 
escalated on our lead a lot better, obviously played a lot better defense. And like China said, we got lazy and didn't do the things we we're supposed to do. So I just think now is not the time to be making those mistakes. This is where we have to actually improve throughout an entire game because when games are close, you can't make mistakes throughout the stretch. So we have to come together and fix those. China, Taylor said uh, you know, that you can't afford to make the mistakes now, but I mean, is it nice to be able to get this done maybe against an inferior opponent like NJIT? They only have four wins on the year, and you guys handle them pretty good in the regular season. Yeah, I think it's, it's nice to get it out the way now. Hopefully it doesn't happen next game because, you know, it's March and things can slip easy. You see games going, teams losing all the time, number one teams, number two teams. They're losing the teams that's not even ranked. So you can't have slip of like that all the time. So hopefully we tighten up in practice. No, not hopefully. We are going to tighten up in practice and, you know, do the right things and, you know, move on and win this tournament. What were your feelings uh, getting honored uh, in front of this crowd here at Thousand Point? It was just, you know, another game, another, I don't know. Like, I mean, it's, it's good to be in this Thousand Point Club, but at the same time, we're trying to get farther than a Thousand Point Club. We're trying to get to the tournament and win games. Tom, right. what's it like to play on this team with all the three-point makes and stuff? You know, you're kind of a blue-collar girl in the middle. Of the, you, know, you, you can shoot a three or two yourself, but what's it like for you out there to have teammates that can make threes just all over the place? Um, it's fun. I mean, we make most of our shots, so I don't have to rebound that much. So I think it's it's exciting for everyone. It gives I feel like it gives everyone confidence to just shoot the three because we all can we all can shoot it pretty good. Carl, it's not over, but uh, it looks like it about is. Uh, Lipscomb looks like they're playing really well tonight. Your thoughts on uh, if that indeed is the matchup on Wednesday? Your your thoughts on Lipscomb? Well, I I think Lipscomb's very dangerous because they. They're a very good three-point shooting team, and they have the uh, conference player of the year at point guard. Uh, they're definitely somebody that's difficult to guard. Uh, so we'll uh, we'll have our hands full if that's who it is, and and you know we'll take a couple of days to prepare, and hopefully uh, you know we can be a little bit more consistent on the defensive end than we were today. Kangle just had ten points uh, in the game here. I don't recall who was on. Was was Taylor on her for the most part? Who was on her for the most part? Rose. Uh, Rose, is, Rose has been on her. Uh, you know, Rose and E usually spend uh, most of the time guarding Kegel. Well, they, they did a real good job on her last time. They did. The first time she hit us for 20, though. So she's more than capable. Uh, we did a good job on her last game to try to at least make her inefficient. But she's a really good player. She. She leads the conference in assists, leads the conference in scoring, uh, and then she's in the top ten in rebounding at, as a point guard, or sometimes she plays the two. So and we'll have uh, – and, and the thing is, she's not their only good player. So you can't just load up because uh, they got too many shooters. If you're going to spend too many people trying to stop her penetration, she's going to find people. Taylor, your thoughts on the matchup if it is Lipscomb? Come all the way to Wednesday night. That's uh, <laughs> uh, I mean, I agree with Coach. It's They're a very good team, and if they hit their shots and we let them shoot open threes, they're going to probably put them in, and we're going to have to stop that, basically. <laughs> um, they're all really good shooters, so it's less of a help on drives, and uh, we'll have to make sure at least we make them inconsistent from three and not let them get threes off. But I think it'll take a team effort and we'll have to actually play team defense in this game. So that's. Ty, uh, last time you played Lipscomb, you guys really dominated on the boards. Uh, do you recall how bad you all dominated? It was like 20, 20 rebounds or something like that. So. No. I don't really remember. So maybe you need to do that again. You yeah. Want to do that again. yeah, I'll take game by game. Yeah. <laughs> uh, in China, just your thoughts on the matchup with Lipscomb? Lipscomb, they're pretty good. They're a good team. You know, we um, they played us good at their place. We fixed a couple of things, but I think communication is going to be really big in this game. They set a lot of ball screens. They shoot a lot of threes. So that's something that we got to stop. It's kind of like guarding us, but with ball screens. So. It's going to be a good matchup. It's going to be fun. You know, we just got to continue this ride and get to the championship. China, we kind of talked about it yesterday, just the, the long layoff. Um, 
but do you feel like that's good or bad after kind of a subpar game from your guys' standards coming off tonight? I think it can go both ways. Like, um, the way – one way it can go is, like, you can get, a you know, a whole tournament in a weekend and the tournament be over and then you're just waiting for a selection show. But also it gives you days to prepare and days to recover instead of going back-to-back. I mean, I kind of like it because it's not like, you know, back-to-back. So you do get that time getting ice baths and getting your bodies prepared and just – you know, getting really prepared for a team, and I know that's big on the coaching staff too, is getting us prepared for games. So, Carl, the biggest thing that you're looking forward to to start working on when uh, when you guys get back on the practice court? Uh, we, I mean, we'll have a number of things to clean up. We'll just we'll watch a film tonight, and you know, we'll try to get our offensive execution and movement to be a little bit better, and then uh, you know, we'll try to prepare for the stuff Lipscomb likes to to do offensively and see if we can have good technique on the defensive end. Is that an intensity thing, just the fact that you guys were already kind of up, you know, double digits? Or, I mean, what, what, where do you think? No, that I mean, I don't want to, you know, NJIT was, uh, they were playing with really good pace on the offensive end. They had some uh, handoffs and ball screens that were really good pace, and they got the ball to, to some good scores. And, you know, I, I, I think, from what I've seen, NJIT just played really well, and we have to make it so it's harder to play really well against us. So I give them a lot of credit for the fact that they were able to execute, and when they got shots, they shot at a really good percentage. Okay. Anything else? Yeah. Good. Thanks, ladies.